Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2020 horror film The Turning, a film that is directed by, and I hope I get this name right, Floria Sigismonde, and it stars Mackenzie Davis, Finn Wolfhard, Brooklyn Prince, as well as Barbara Martin and Jolie Richardson. Now this is a retelling of the horror story The Turning of the Screw. Um, that was also recently turned into the Netflix TV show that we know as The Haunting of Bly Manor, which I reviewed very recently on the channel. Now, after watching The Haunting of Bly Manor, which I did enjoy, um, I did mention that there was this film, The Turning, that came out earlier this year that was also based on the same story. And whereas I wasn't really interested in this film before, because I know it didn't get good reviews, I'm more interested in seeing it now after seeing Blind Manor because it's the same tale. Um, and what is this film about? Well, if you haven't seen Blind Manor and you don't know much about the tale of the uh, the story of the turning of the screw, Mackenzie Davis's character Kate Mandel gets a job as um, a tutor, if you like, or a governess. At this huge mansion of this uh, little girl who was orphaned sometime previously when her parents died in a car crash. Once she gets there, her older brother Miles, who is sent home from boarding school, or expelled, um, also comes back and she has to deal with him as well. However, some strange occurrences start taking place. Uh, the children aren't behaving normally, especially Miles, the older brother, who's particularly mean to Mackenzie Davis's character and hey it's a ghost story so guess what things start happening from there right so without spoiling it that's basically what the story is about um, so what are my thoughts on the turning well I have to kind of agree with the majority of uh, the reviews or the feedback that this film got its, at its release it's not a great film this if I'm particularly honest I found it particularly dull um, for the most part very cold and uh, uncharming horror film that at, f at times felt more like a drama or a thriller than a horror um, it's got some really bad jump scares uh, why do they do it why uh, if you're going to commit to telling quite a grown-up or intellectual horror story, why put in these cheap jump scares that they must know everybody hates? You know, all of us as film fans, you've got the opportunity to make a film. You know everybody out there hates jump scares, especially ones that aren't earned. Uh, if you're going to have to do it, you're going to have to do it quite expertly. Um, and I just don't think the filmmaker here has got the, enough talent, clearly to do earned jump scares and they certainly aren't in this film so it's littered with daft jump scares um, and it's just a fairly dull film and a dull and an interesting story um, yes I could see the connection obviously to The Haunting of Blind Manor they are similar tales however The, haunt, what, the Haunting of Blind Manor and it's not really fair to completely compare the two because The Haunting of Blind Manor had nine episodes to get some character development going uh, for you to really flesh out these characters and they do that really really well here there's just Mackenzie Davis's character and the two kids and uh, Miss Gross who's like the housekeeper and there's not really anybody else to speak of there's no in interesting interactions here there's no warmth there's no real interesting dialogue here it's just Mackenzie Davis's character Kate backed into a corner all the time either by the kids or by what's going on at the manor her own insecurities or whatever um, and it's just it seems like it's the same stuff over and over again just pressure building up in her pressure building up in her because of what's going on around her okay um, but do something interesting with that and they don't really here in this film unfortunately I didn't find it scary at all um, 
and it just really consists of walking around corridors knocks and bangs and you know it's just not scary um, and the odd flash here and there and and the ending well the last uh, the least said about the ending the better um, I had seen and read some reviews on this film and they all universally kind of said what have they done with the ending here well yeah I kind of concur with that I didn't enjoy the ending at all um, and I just found the whole thing a little bit of a drag uh, it looked nice enough there's a nice sheen to the film There's some, there is some interesting direction now and again I'm not saying the director is poor or anything like that um, it, it looks ok the performances are all fine Mackenzie Davis who doesn't seem to be able to get a break these days um, her performance is fine she does fine with what she's been given to do no problem with her performance at all no problem with the kids' performances. Finn Wolfhard is is maturing into a fine actor. However, his character Miles is the biggest piece of crap going in this film. And if you understand the story, you know why. But still, uh, again, I'm going to re reference back to Bly Manor. You still saw glimpses of the real Miles in that. You barely see any of that here. You just see this nasty, horrible kid being horrible all the time and it wasn't a nice character at all so i am be honest I didn't like the film particularly it was very dull not particularly scary um, some decent atmosphere now and again it's got a decent atmosphere to it some decent performances some interesting ideas now and again um, but yeah if you're looking at um, an ad adaptation of the turning of the screw a good one I do have to recommend The Haunting of Bly Manor. I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 10. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And of course, I will be back with more content and reviews on Screen Stars very, very soon.